welcome back to the channel. So today we've got our first 2025 8 Series. It's the M850i X-Drive Grand Coupe for store inventory, of course, in Portimao Blue. So it's the G16 chassis, and I guess, is this the end of the 8 Series? I think the writing's on the wall for at least the coupe and convertible. But the Grand Coupe, I think there are rumors that this thing survives another generation. And will probably be an all-electric vehicle. Well, let's go over this M850 in front of us. So, we've got standard laser lights, which of course are now gone throughout the lineup with model year 25, with the exception of the 8 series in front of me, and the iX. Also have shadow line lights, and then M badging in the double slat kidney grille, parking assistance camera there, down below driving assisted professional package, and all the 8 series are M Sport by default, just like the new gas powered 7 series. But given this is the M performance model, it's going to be M Sport. Also, I will note the grill is not exactly the same color as the rest of the grill. So there's high gloss black in the lower portion, and it looks like more like a frozen or a matte black for the grill. Moving over to the side. We got the style 894M wheels, bi-color, with black M Sport calipers. 20-inch wheel, I think looks pretty good, pretty good design. And those spokes sort of hide away within the black, making it look like a very old-school star spoke wheel. All right, so take a step back, taking the side profile of the Ader Grand Coupe. Which looks really good between the coupe and the grand coupe on the 8 series i think it's the best looking model that's currently produced by the end of you of course all right so make our way to the back here and again notice there's no shark fin all those antennas are integrated into the rear window just like on the previous gen 6 series grand coupe then we got X-Drive badging and M850i badging in chrome. And technically a quad exhaust. We got our faux diffuser down below. And an integrated spoiler or trunk spoiler. And there's that three quarters view from the rear with more sunlight on it. Of course, Portimao Blue is named after the racetrack in Portugal. Like many BMW M colors, references to tracks around the world. And again, like many other cars recently, this one's missing the second window sticker. So we'll hop inside first and then hop out and go over the pricing and options on this one. Then M style mirror caps and two basically moonroofs separated in the middle. So up, we have the Cognac Extended Merino Leather, Cognac Leather on the door card, and the very comfortable seats, so perforations, some quilting, you can see if you individual, I guess in air quotes here, no M stripes on the seat belt, you have to step up at least to America, or USA, to the M versions, and you have a manual crumb catcher on an 8 series and m850i badging here on the door sill all right so in front of me your standard m sport steering wheel m badging heated steering wheel button m stitching then over on the left hand side all the buttons for the driving assistance professional package live cockpit professional and i drive 7 with the driver attention camera right there m850 badging in the instrument panel Heads up to play standard. And I think it's a 12.2 inch iDrive 7 screen. So obviously a relic given where all the other vehicles are either iDrive 8, 8.5, or 9. Then center console area, you've got your legacy climate control buttons. Then you've got carbon fiber trim in the middle here on the console. Gear selector, of course, you can opt in for the glass controls. 
Then you got start stop button, iDrive controller. Otherwise, a very, I guess now classic uh, cockpit. Let's hop in the back seat. All right, let's hop out and go over pricing and options and hop in the back seat. All right, so starting price of the 2025 MA50 Grand Coupe is 106,300 bucks. Paint and leather are included. Driving assistance package for another 100 bucks. Driving assistance pro for 1700. M Sport professional package for another 300. Now we've got 350 for the front and rear heated seats. 300 bucks for the carbon fiber trim. We got a few things here: first aid kit, floor mats. All told, MSRP of this particular example: 110,315 bucks. All right, hop in the back seat here again. Doors opening is really wide, especially compared to the 4 Series Grand Coupe, so pretty easy to get in, but you still have to duck your head. Alright, here's a view of the cockpit from the back seat. Then you've got comet control zone in the back here and heated seats, more carbon fiber trim, vents, let me turn that open, USB-C charging ports, knee room and leg room really, really good. And headroom, not too bad for a Grand Coupe. All right, so you do have control for the rear moonroof. So that opens up the shade, so you have a little bit of glass in the back for your rear passengers. All right, so move to the back here. We can use our kick to open. And cargo area, it's not bad in terms of size, just kind of a small opening. Of course, you can fold down those rear seats for a little bit more room. There's no extra cargo space down here. You see M Performance floor mats there. All right, make our way to the front and pop the hood. So under the hood here is the Legacy N63 4.4 liter V8 twin turbo engine, 523 horsepower, 553 torques, no mild hybrid setup, and the N63, I think, basically dies, at least for BMW, in this vehicle. Well, that's it for a quick tour around yet another 8 Series, and we'll see you at the next video.